<sighs> I know we're all rushing to get ready and to be here. We are here now. We are present. And welcome all of you, loved ones. We are gathered here today to join Samantha and Lendo in their celebration of love. And I know some of you have asked about the hashtag for Samantha because she's un taggable. So if you want to tag her, just put a video or anything and put her name and then you can send to her after, but it does not, the, the tagging does not work. Now that this is out of the way and we are finally here today, we are combining families, cultures, countries in celebration of love. And I am so inspired that I want to start this off by, are you guys ready? Reading the rules. <laughs> so here it goes. Number one, you can consume, consume alcohol inside, out the front door, or on the surrounding patios. Drinks cannot leave these areas, okay? If you are under 19 years old, I see you, auntie, um, you cannot consume alcohol, even if your parent allows it. If you are under 25 years old, expect to show age or majority of driver's license. Personal alcohol is strictly prohibited inside the venue, on the grounds or in the parking lot, so you will be denied entry. Finally, please smoke five meters away from any door. Please stay away from other Strathmere venues. Events may be happening. And thank you for complying with the rules and enjoy the celebrations. Yay! Now that this is out of the way, we're going to go back here. And then... I think we're ready to start the show. Oh, one more second. One more second, everyone. Can I ask you all to take your phone out right now? Take your phone out. Yes. Can you put your camera on? Let's do it. And then take a selfie of yourself and then you're going to turn it off. Off. It's no airplane mode, no silent mode. It, your telephone should be off, off, off. Can we do that? And I'll explain to you, they have worked so hard for all of you to be here today. And the last thing they want is that you can, they, all they want is that you can look at them and not at your screen. So that's the go for today. I'm perfect. We good? Awesome. I think we're now ready to roll.
Hause. Mm. Okay. This was so beautiful. I am emotional too. Um, Samantha and Lando, I believe I speak on behalf of everybody here. It is an honor to be in your surroundings. You have shown all of us that half of the battle is believing and giving a chance to love, to fall in love, and to surrender to the possibility. I met Samantha many years ago when I just ran into her in the shop and I said, when are you going to become a Victoria's Secret model? And we've been friends since, and I have had the pleasure of being preparing a dinner for the two of them when they became engaged, and they shared that story with me. And I am honored to be here today to officiate this ceremony. And this is a love story that is started during an impossible time, what we all have gone through. A time of so much uncertainty, and despite all of the odds, you created a possibility to meet in the border when the border was closed. And with a sprinkle of magic, you made it happen. You made it happen, a kiss, a relationship, and now a marriage. You showed all of us that love stories, as crazy as they are, they are a possibility. And that possibility now led you to gather important people in your life today to celebrate love, relationships, and family. You are both wise in your own ways, and while I know you will figure it out, here are three pieces of unsolicited marriage advice from someone that have never been married. <laughs> One, <laughs> marriage is a commitment you make to share your life with someone you respect and admire. So be there for each other. Your job is allowing your partner to be whoever they want to be and love and accept them as they are. All you can do is to be there, hold space, and be your true and authentic self. Eventually, you're gonna teach and learn from each other. Two, it takes a lifetime to keep rediscovering someone we are not the same we were five years ago, and we are always changing and growing. I encourage you to be curious on your own journey. And third and last one, don't listen to each other. It will prepare you for when you hit a certain age. Um, a joke. <laughs> I, strong I strongly recommend you to communicate openly and with a kind heart. Um, you will probably get a lot of more depth from those conversations and pay attention to how your partner communicates without words or bodies talk. And that, that will definitely help you at a certain age. Um, most ceremonies will have a commitment about now, about all the best and the worst of life. Um, but instead, I would like for both of you to commit to just be. Just be. Be yourself and be there for each other. Whatever life throws at you, together you can conquer. That mindset, with that mindset, I would like now to invite you to make your vows to each other, starting with Lando. I'm not <laughs> Thanks, Tiago. <clears throat> testing mm -hmm. I used to have nightmares of this very day and I promised myself that I would never ever get married <laughs> my sister knows um, but this is one promise I'm gladly breaking and a testament to how miraculous you are <laughs> uh, to stand here today with you as my wife truly illuminates what a special person you are and that miracles do exist Samantha, your strong Viking warrior, goddess, quality shaped our roller coaster relationship into the most formidable partnership. And you've shown me more love than I've ever known possible. There is absolutely no one like you on this earth. I'm so blessed and loved that you found and chosen me to be your soulmate in this lifetime. Therefore, I vow to love and protect you and your heart. I promise to be your best friend, loyal husband, and lover. I vow to continuously grow with you and expand our family. I commit this to you as long as I'm breathing. 
I love you so much. (sighs) (sighs) To my babe, my Hunterton, (laughs) Dill King, Pickerton, Hunterton, babes, (laughs) love. Uh To my best friend, my soulmate, my twin. Across many lifetimes, I'm sure, and many more, I hope. I am so grateful. I'm blessed to have found you in this lifetime under the weirdest, most crazy, and perfect circumstances. I could not have asked for a better partner. I literally dreamed you into life. (laughs) I literally created you in my own vortex, and you're even more perfect than I could have ever imagined. You're very sexy too. <laughs> that's a that's a big a big thing, a big plus. <laughs> I vow to be true to you and to be loyal to you and to love you forever and to be patient, because that's not my forte, as everyone here knows. <laughs> and to be really kind and to be the best wife that I can. And to love you and honor you and cherish you like I do. And to have so much fun and many adventures together. I didn't know if I would get married. I didn't know if I would ever meet anyone that's crazy enough to be able to handle me in the way that I live my life. And you don't only handle it, but you amplify it in every single way. We also look really good together. And that makes me happy. (laughs) I love you so much, and I'm so glad that we get to get married again with all of our friends and family and virtually as well. This is just the happiest. You make me the happiest person on the planet, and I love you so much. I love you. Mm. Wow. You're so good. All right. You had to put three in there, didn't you? Yeah. We're almost there. (laughs) We'll just do it. You can now, um, and because we all agree that women are goddesses, I now declare you wife and husband. You can lick it. <laughs> You've got this, babe. I believe in you. Let go of me. Now you may now kiss the bride. Two, one!